Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Zeebs HQ. This weekend is the biggest weekend in all of sports. Super Bowl weekend, Super Bowl 55. This Sunday, 6 p.m., CBS. We're here to break it all down for you. Also, this coming weekend, Saturday night, 6 p.m. on ESPN, is arguably the biggest rivalry game in all of college basketball. And here to help me break everything down today is our very first in-studio guest. Everybody help me welcome the man, LD, baby. Thanks for having me here, Mo. Yes, sir. Happy to be here. Ready to break it down. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's get after it. This Saturday, we got a huge college basketball game, the biggest rivalry in all of college basketball, North Carolina at Duke at Cameron Amador Stadium. Logan here is a huge North Carolina fan, so I'm excited to get him on this episode with me to help break it down. Usually every single year, me and him watch both games together, and we will be doing so this Saturday, so it's going to be fun to break this down. Some stats about Duke this season. Duke is having a down year. They're 7-6. and six which if you know anything about college basketball, you know Duke is usually one of the premier programs. So they're having a down year. They're 6-2 and two at home, but against the spread, Duke is god-awful. You do not want to bet on them. They're 3-10 and 10 against the spread, as well as 6-2 and two against the spread at home. But the last three times they've played North Carolina, Duke has won all three games. And a very interesting stat for you folks at home this weekend the last time Duke and North Carolina were both unranked and they played each other was 1960. And this Saturday will be the first time since then both teams are unranked playing, which is very interesting. Like Duke, Carolina's also having a down year. Carolina's currently 11-6, and 6-4 six, six and four in the ACC, 6-0 and oh at home, and 2-5 and five away. They're currently averaging 43 rebounds a game, which is third in the country. Um... They had an ugly loss last night to Clemson, which wasn't pretty, but it happens. Uh, they went 6-1 and one in the month of January, so they were getting hot for a while. My player to watch for the game is Daron Sharp. He's a true freshman, power forward slash center. He's 6'11", a uh, five-star recruit out of... Uh, Monteverde. I believe that's the name of it. High school in Florida, one of the most premier high schools in all of the country. He's my player to watch. Uh, another stat about North Carolina, uh, they're the only team in the country to have back-to-back -back freshmen of the weeks and Caleb Love and RJ Davis. So I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, it's not your typical year for uh, North Carolina and Duke. You know, the hype around each team isn't that high, but they always bring out the best out of each other. So I think it's going to be a hell of a game. An interesting thing there that I thought Logan said uh, to pick up off on was it isn't your typical year for Duke, North Carolina. There will actually be zero fans this year at Cameron Indoor for the game, which always brings the one of the top atmospheres in all of college sports. So that will be very strange without that. Um, Duke averages 74 points a game. North Carolina averages 73 points a game. Duke gives up 70 points a game. North Carolina gives up 69 points a game. So, with that being said, my prediction, I'm going with the upset here. I'm biased. I like Duke. Hate North Carolina. I got Duke 73-70. to 70. Logan, what do you got for us? My prediction is I think the game is going to come down to the wire, but uh, as long as Carolina can control the boards and, you know, uh, run the tempo, I see no reason why North Carolina doesn't win this game. I'm going 78-74 Carolina. All right, folks, this is it. This Sunday, the biggest game of the year every single year, Super Bowl 55. One of my all-time favorite games, but at the same time, one of my least favorites because that means no more football until the end of August. <sighs> Trying not to cry. But anyways, this weekend, Super Bowl 55 features the defending champion, Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida plays host to this year's Super Bowl. This is the first time the Super Bowl was in that stadium since 2009. The Buccaneers are the first team ever to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. The spread for this game is the Chiefs minus three. 
The over-under is 55 and a half. And also, for everyone at home, currently, as of right now, which is February 3rd, the weather for kickoff is 72 degrees with 80% chance of rain and 10 mile per hour winds. With that being said, let's get into some prop bets for this weekend. And Logan, you can start us off. All right, I got five. Um, I like the first turnover of the game will be an interception, I believe. Um, nice. I like the Chiefs over two and a half sacks. You know, they got Chris Jones and Frank Clark on the D-line. Uh, I like Tom Brady over two and a half touchdowns. I, I mean, like with that. all those weapons, I mean, he should at least, right? Yeah, I like uh, that. I like Pat Mahomes over 350 yards. Out right now is at uh, plus 152. He could even have that after the third quarter. Um, with Since Tampa Bay is missing – I think they're missing their two starting safeties. Am I right? I believe so, yes. And uh, I like Tyreek Hill over 91 and a half yards receiving. I like those. My prop bets for the game, uh, my favorite one of the night that I'll be putting $100 on, my $100 prop bet coin toss, tails, minus 103 odds. Last year I took heads, it was tails. I'm pissed off and I'm coming for revenge. Put the house on tails. Also, another prop bet. Will there be roughing the passer penalty? Yes, plus 155 odds, hammering that. Total punts in the game, under 6.5, minus 125 odds. Give me that. Longest successful field goal, for over 46.5 yards. Yup, I'll take that, minus 115. Jason Pierre-Paul, over 3.5 assists and tackles combined for 125. Maybe my second favorite bet of the night. Love that one. And this is a long shot, maybe. It's tough, 50-50. I like it, though. I love it, actually. Buccaneers plus 370 to win the coin toss and win the game. Love that one. So those are our prop bets for this weekend for everyone at home to take. Let us know some of the prop bets that you take and what you like. Uh, next thing, we got players to watch on defense. I got one player to watch on the Buccaneers coming off the defensive line, Jason Pierre-Paul. I just set him on my prop bet. Look out for him to have a breakout game. Maybe, maybe almost an MVP type game on the defensive side of the ball from Jason Pierre-Paul. Logan, who you got for us? My player to watch on defense is Tyron Matthew, safety for the Kansas City Chiefs. Honey Badger. Um, he's one of my favorite defenders in the league, one of my favorite players in the league. Um, I think he's just the true definition of a football player. You know, he's been through so much adversity, you know. Yeah. Since college, um, you know, he has the talent. He has a heart. You know, he has the he has it all. So, that's my pick. I wouldn't be surprised. He's actually my MVP sleeper. Wow. Believe it or not. I love that. I like that. I got, if the Chiefs win, Travis Kelsey winning the MVP of the Super Bowl. And if the Buccaneers win, I got playoff Lenny, Leonard Fournette, baby, winning the MVP this year for the Buccaneers. Super Bowl 55 MVP. Logan, who we got? My MVPs are, uh, if the Chiefs win, I'm taking uh, Tyron Matthew. Uh, right. He's one of my favorite players in the league. Always has been. You know, he's been through so much adversity. Um, he has a talent. He has a heart. He has it all. So, it might be a it might be a reach, but I'm just going with my gut on that one. Love it. And uh, if the Buccaneers win, um, there's two guys I like. I like playoff Lenny, Leonard Fournette. And I kind of like Mike Evans, too. I think Mike Evans is going to have a big game. Yeah. You know, can't stop a guy that's 6'5 and can catch the ball anywhere. His wingspan's unreal. Runs a 4'4", four, 4'5". Four, four, so, it's going to be interesting. I would, would pick Pat Mahomes, but it's kind of obvious. So, But I wouldn't be surprised if Pat Mahomes wins MVP. Yeah, that's how I am with both quarterbacks as well. It could be Brady or Mahomes. I also like Chris Godwin yeah, as a guy. Like Godwin uh, Mike Ed Evans is a great pick because that's Brady's favorite uh, guy. Tyreek Hill, obvious mm -hmm. good choice. Rob Gronkowski, I mean, yeah. Brady's best friend. It could be the game that they just explode with each other. <laughs> I just wonder who's going to be the player that, like, think about it, all, like, all other Super Bowls, that one player that no one really knows about yeah, that breaks always out. makes that big play. You know, David Tyree, yep. uh, well, Santonio – Holmes, but I mean, yeah. he was well known, but, but he, he made a big play. Scotty Miller, man, Scotty Schuler. I'm kind of like Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I mean, he's I like well known it. as well, but it's yeah. like he's a he's, rookie. He's had two games, like the first game of the year, he had a 
phenomenal game. Yeah. And then after that, he only had one other game rushing for over 100 yards. So, Yeah. And a rookie, like his first Super Bowl, I mean, yeah. yeah. Could really make a name for himself and his I wouldn't career. mind seeing Le'Veon Bell, though. I love Le'Veon. I, uh, I don't hate him. Uh, we have the other guy on the other side <laughs> of the ball, too. Never know what the heck he's going to do yeah. on or off the field. So those are two great players to watch for this weekend. Watch Le'Veon them both Bell and AB. Watch them both. They could. Keep your eye on both of them this weekend. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, right. one of them are getting a ring, so. Yeah, good for Bell them. Bell Brown. One of them's worked their ass off, and the other, eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> all right, and now the biggest question of the weekend who wins? Uh, I like Kansas City minus three and a half. Um, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. You know, whenever they played Week 12, they combined for almost 1,000 yards of total offense. Uh, I just think Great Kansas game. City's offense is just, you know, you got the best quarterback on the planet right now. you got arguably the fastest receiver, fastest player in the NFL receiver, uh, the best tight end in the NFL, well, second best behind Darren Waller. Um, oh, I like it. And then you got Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. He's, uh, he's just as good at catching the ball as he is uh, rushing. Um so, yeah, I'm taking Kansas City minus three and a half, and I will never bet the under whenever the Kansas City Chiefs are playing. So, I'm taking the over 55 and a half. What's the score that you got for the game? Uh, I got 31 27, Kansas City. All right. My prediction for Super Bowl 55 35 34, winner. Woo! Buccaneers, baby. 35 34. Tom Brady, the GOAT, wins his seventh Super Bowl this Sunday by a score of 35-34. And, Logan, you'll love this. My hot take, baby. It's going to be the Chiefs are winning the game 34-28 with about two and a half minutes to go in the game. They're going to get stopped three times, punt the ball back to Tom. They get the ball around the 30-yard line in Raymond James Field. He leads the Buccaneers all the way down the field. Hikes the ball with 17 seconds to go when he looks into the corner of the end zone. For my man, his guy, Chris Godwin, Penn Stater, let's freaking go. Touchdown winner, extra point, boom, 35-34. They do the kickoff, last play of the game. Mahomes is scrambling, gets sacked. Buccaneers win, seven for the GOAT. Let's go. What's your hot take? Uh <laughs> I think the game's going to end on a turnover. Um, you might be right. Uh, Tom Brady might be driving down the field at the end of the game, but either Chris Jones is going to come in for a strip sack and Kansas City's going to re- recover it, or my boy Tyron Matthews is going to pick it off. And then Pat Mahomes is going to win a second Super Bowl in three years. The next GOAT. He, he is. The he's, GOAT. He's great. And the fact that he could have two Super Bowls at 25 already, this – would project his career leading him towards GOAT status. Yep. Um, still has many, many years to go, but two stays Super Bowls healthy. at 25. Yep. Stays exactly. healthy and sky's the limit for him. Could win his second straight MVP of the Super Bowl yep. as well. So, yep. love that. I think we can agree that the way we both think the game is going to end in the score, that this is going to be an amazing Super Bowl and Agreed. one of the best Super yep. Bowls of all time. Agreed. Especially in our lifetime. This is... I cannot recall the last time that a lot of people, everyone we've talked to, have been this excited. Um, it's arguably the best quarterback matchup yep. that since we've been alive since the mid-90s. There might be others. If you can think of one, let us know. Comment on the show what you think. All right, everybody. We're going to end this week's show with some special guest prediction videos sent in by many of my close friends throughout the week. We'll be able to see what their takes are for the game, their winners, the score, and some hot takes. So, as always, enjoy the weekend, enjoy some great sports, and the best game of the year, the Super Bowl. Let's get after it. And Logan, thank you for joining me, brother. Sure. Go Chiefs! Fox, baby. Bust out this shirt. Alright, Zeebs HQ. You've requested picks. I've got fucking winners. My picks. Super Bowl winner, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 34-20. I think the Chiefs are going to win this one, 38-24. I think it's going to be a tie ball game going into the fourth quarter, and the Chiefs are going to pull away. I'm out driving in the snow. 
decided to tell you what the score is going to be. It's going to be 23 to 20, Kansas City Chiefs. 35, 31, Buccaneers. Brady gets his fifth Super Bowl MVP in his seventh ring. And that's history, baby. Super Bowl predictions. I got Kansas City Chiefs, 35, 31. Zeebs HQ prediction for the Super Bowl. I got Tom Brady over the Kansas City Chiefs. It's got him uh, 30, 21 bucks. Run it. Hey, everybody. It's your boy here, Jake the Snake. Hot take horns. Here to give you my picks for the Super Bowl for Zeebs HQ. So I got Tampa Bay winning. I have them winning 28 to 24. Zeebs HQ, Super Bowl prediction. Bucks win 34 to 27. Who's going to the Super Bowl? Tom Brady. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, Tom Brady. How many is he going to win by? 20. 20. Okay. All right, this seems pretty easy, so I guess I can do it at work. Uh, my prediction for the Super Bowl this year, if anyone out there thinks that last year's MVP and probably this year's Patrick Mahomes is going to lose this Super Bowl to Tom Brady, you're crazy. Chiefs by 14. I think it's going to be a tight one, but I think Tampa Bay is going to pull it out in the end because, you know, well... Tom Brady and everything. TB12, he can't be stopped. I'm going to say like 28-24. Zeebs HQ, what it do? Here for my prediction for the Super Bowl. I got Tom winning number seven. I got someone on defense winning player of the uh, game, though. And, of course, Patty Mahomes is going to show out. But Tommy in the end. Let's go Bucks. Hot take on the game. Brady. Brady. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, Super Bowl. Hot take, maybe, MVP, give me playoff Leonard Fournette. For MVP, I'm gonna go defense with JPP, Jason Pierre Paul. Let's fucking go Bucks. MVP, JPP. But let's go Brady. And for my hot take, I have Shaq Barrett, MVP. And I got my man Shaq Barrett, drafted by them boys, Denver Broncos in 2014. He was around for that Super Bowl run. Watched Von Miller go and get that Super Bowl MVP. So uh, I think he's going to get it done this Sunday over the Chiefs. Bonus hot take. Mahomes will be sacked the most he's ever been sacked in a game before. Let's not forget this is a football game. Let's not forget that we have the returning Super Bowl champions that got a lot to lose. I don't think Brady can pull it off as much as it it could happen. I think the Chiefs are taking it. Zeebs HQ, what it do?